Hey Libra, welcome to your general reading. We're gonna get right into it because when I get done, I gotta go run forgotten items to my child. Yes, I do. So for those of you that are new, welcome. I'm an intuitive and much of what you see here on the channel will not be traditional. For those of you returning, thank you. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I will come back to all of the videos from this week next week, and I will do a bonus reading for that sign, okay? Um, last week, it was neck and neck between Ophiuchus and um, Libra, and Ophiuchus won by just a minute amount of energy that was a combination of um, an extra subscriber, <laughs> an extra comment, and more minutes of watching. Okay, more contribution. The more you con you you can contribute, the more you contribute, the more you contribute, the more likely it is that the person that may need this message can find it if it's not for you. And um, so that's my gift back. So for the collective, okay, harvest, you are now going to reap, <laughs> someone needs to hear this, what you've sown. The transformation here may be that you have been unable to say what you're thinking. And I almost feel like you're going to say it. And that's going to lead to some sort of um, big blessing here. Okay. So let's see what's going on. I'm wearing my tarot hoodie here, post treadmill. All right, so the overview. Okay, what's going on with you? What's coming towards you? And advice going forward. Okay, bottom of the deck. <laughs> the magician. Oh, I feel like this is your person. Okay, they may be uh, in their head. This person is playing house with you. Whether you are in a relationship with this person or not, in their head, everything is envisioned and magical. But I feel like, um, look, the windows are blackened. Like, they're not letting you see any of that. All right. The overview here, though, is the world. Okay, some of you are getting ready to travel or to make changes. And they're, um, you feel like you want to make big changes. Like you're like, I made little changes in the past. Like they're showing me on this. Like a couple years ago, I got a perm, right? Like um, then the following year, I took my hair earlier this year. My hair was pink, okay? And so from a perm to pink hair, very different changes. All right. So it could be that whatever you had as a little change, you're about to make a big change. Okay. Now what's going on with you? Two of cups in reverse. Like you're tired of being entangled in everyone else's heart. Okay. This could be just friends coming to you for advice. Um, you know, different relationships, people that you're still friends with that you were in relationships with, okay? People that maybe you are still in relationships with, people that you wanted to be in a relationship with. It feels like everyone comes in, they get all enmeshed in your heart space, and then, right, like, you get kind of the one that's torn up, and you're done with that. Now, what's coming towards you I feel like is an apology, 10 of wands here, but it's a crossing energy. So we're gonna see when we come back around what is going to bring that apology to you. And advice going forward, nine of wands and the hanged man. Okay, spirit says, be conscious of what caused your pains in the past here and slowly open up to whatever is coming towards you, okay? Don't take any giant leaps forward. All right, so let's go ahead and clarify. 
Okay, sir, tell me more about the world. Yeah, okay. Five of Swords crossing energies. So I kind of feel like make sure that you're not doing this out of um, like overthinking, controlling sort of energies. So for me, this is how it was for me. I got a perm. Then I chopped my hair off. And then I bleached it and went pink. Now, bleaching my hair is something that I do regularly um, to take my hair lighter, and then I go darker, and then I go lighter. So that wasn't a big deal. Um, but my hair was getting pretty long again when I chopped it. And it was almost like a decision to cut things out of my life by cutting off my hair. And so Spirit's like, make sure that you're being very aware of the choices that you're making, okay? You may think that whatever you are doing, the intention here is to be clear, okay? Eight of Swords in reverse, 10 of Wands in reverse, okay? I'm doing this to be clear that there is nothing more holding us together. Okay, whether this is with a job contract, whether this is for someone, it may be that someone's been doing construction work on your house and you're like, uh, you haven't fulfilled your contract. And I'm letting you know with this document that uh, you did not fulfill your contract. You have broken the, you know, the contract and I will not be burdened waiting around for you to take care of this. You will not get the rest of your money and I'm moving on to a different contractor. Okay, take it as it resonates. But for others of you, it could be ending a relationship where you're like, I just need you to be clear that we are not bound together the way we were in the past, and I will not carry this burden any further. Okay, so what's going on with you here? Two of Cups, okay? The Lovers in Reverse. Okay, you're not going to play games with this divine partner anymore. And it's time for you to take your light back and step out of the shadows. Okay, to be like, I'm worth more than this, right? Yeah, the Hierophant. I'm worth all of it. And to acknowledge that and to know that you are. And so if this person can't step up, because maybe they are in another commitment, well then, maybe this isn't the lifetime for us or the time in this lifetime for us. But I can't stay entangled in this and enmeshed in my heart when I need to clear out karmic things in my life and bring myself to a higher level. So what is coming towards you, the apology, what's crossing this? Three of Cups, Six of Pentacles. Okay, again, I feel like this person, they are going to try to come back with what you've been asking for. Okay, they are going to try to come in and apologize and make up for things, but they may say, this is all I can give right now. I still have to deal with my own stuff, right? Okay, because we've got the King of Cups still sitting here. Like, I have this cup, but I can't actually get up and deliver it beyond saying that you make me happy. You are sunshine in my life that I don't want out of my life. So, okay, Nine of Wands. Yeah, this person, okay, they may be being more vulnerable, okay, We've got that Knight of Pentacles in reverse, but this person I feel like has been a little bit vulnerable to you in the past. So this is not totally new. It may be new information, right? Spirit saying, still stand up for what you are worth. Okay, you are worth someone that wants to come in with the same vision that you have right? We've got the um, Seven of Wands 
and the Queen of Wands stand in your power. All right, the Hanged Man. Yeah, okay, you don't have to cut this person right off. Two of Swords in reverse. Okay, Queen of Swords. But you also, there you are, right? You know how to make healthy boundaries, okay? So make healthy boundaries and make sure that you are getting your wishes fulfilled and not just theirs, okay? Yeah, bottom of the deck here, the Ace of Cups. When you both fill the cups and give and take to yourselves and each other equally, that is the best type of mirroring that there can be, okay? So let's clarify. Five of swords, right? Yeah, okay, four of wands. Again, I, I do feel like there is some sort of a commitment in here, be it contract, be it relationship that needs to go to the wayside, that has to be addressed. Okay, eight of swords in reverse, seven of swords in reverse, no secrets here, okay? No um, hiding things. Ten of swords in reverse, or I mean ten of swords on the ten of wands in reverse. Um, if you hide things, the burden will be on you and you will be creating karmic pain, okay? One way or the other. And what you want to be creating is strength. Okay, so stand strong, but only be accepting of what emotionally gives equally to you. Okay, because we've got the lovers in reverse right here. Okay. All right, high priestess and temperance. Okay, you do see that this has been imbalanced that you may be emotionally more in, you know, enmeshed in this than this person. And so you're understanding that, yes, this person is a blessing, right? This person has awakened you, but there needs to be that balance, right? This person has to give as much as they get, Knight of Swords. And they're just fighting against this tower Ton of pentacles here with the Hierophant. Again, I feel like they may know that this is meant to be, but again, I've got this person sitting and um, making you continue to continue to come to them, okay? And spirits like, no, that they need to come to you and apologize. So three of cups here, okay, with the six of pentacles. Yeah, they are the wounded warrior here, okay? They have been wounded by this, I feel like, emotionally, spiritually, physically. They may not be sleeping well, right? They miss this love. Now we've got the king and queen of cups. They're like, how do I get you? You're barely tapped into my energetic field emotionally. How do I get you to come back in and love me the way you used to? Okay, King of Cups. Again, divine timing, right? This person is going through the darkness on the wheel so that they can find the light. And the sun here, right? is them being able to step up and offer stability, okay? Despite the fear that they may have about the rejection. All right, so advice going forward, we have that Knight of Pentacles in reverse, but don't give them the whole cow, all right? Uh, if you are the masculine, you know what I'm saying. Um, just because they're being vulnerable you don't have to give them everything again. Okay, seven of wands with the queen of wands, right? Because this person you know, king of swords, 
here with the Queen of Swords, all right? They will sit and sit and sit just with the knowledge until you cut them off and you don't want to go down that path again. All right, two of swords in reverse. Keep forging your own success here. Okay, the queen of swords, right? Okay, if this person, knight of cups in reverse in is crossing, if they do not bring you a decent offer, don't take it, okay? Nine of cups. You're an option right now, okay? They are giving to two separate energies, whether it is work, love, doesn't matter, okay? They need to step up and match your energy, right? Where you're both willing not just to fight each other, but to fight for this. Until they do, they won't be able to fully give to you. Right? That's the magic of the Three of Cups. Okay. So let's see what Spirit wants to add to this. Let's see what we get from the universe. Okay. Yeah. All right. You are the divine coupling here, right? Emperor and Empress. And you guys have all the different placements of the kings and queens that you're dealing with here. But whoever is the Empress in this energy, be it you, be it them, has had to fall back into this sort of daydream sleep, right? Because you don't really know what's happening with this. Drop the expectations. Keep following your own passions, all right? Let the wheel turn, okay? Release your karmic energies, your karmic lessons. Move yourself forward on the dreams that you have, right? Bottom of the deck, you are going through a rebirth and you don't need this person to be right there by your side to go through with it. This is partially about you learning that stability on your own. So let's see what spirit wants you to work on, okay, as you go through this. I love this. Transmutation, DNA repairing. The trigger statement, I don't know who I am. I feel like that's what you're working on here, okay? Because deep down you do. The true statement is just, I am. All right, there is no, <laughs> it's funny the way they say this, there is no efforting required for this shift. Be present and allow every aspect of your being to transform. That's it. Okay, that's all that is required of you. So let's close it off with an oracle. Remember, if you have liked, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you're not sure if you are subscribed, look and see if that subscription button has changed colors. If it is all beautiful, right, and shows that you have subscribed, that it has changed, then you know it doesn't say subscribe anymore. If it just says subscribe, go ahead and click on it. Ooh, that came out very quickly. Yeah, okay. You feel like you are about to deal with massive earthquakes. For some of you, as you've been dealing with this DNA repair, as you've been going through your healing, you may feel from sometimes when you're laying there thinking about this healing process that you feel like that shudder in your body, okay, that little earthquake. That's releasing energy. And it's really a sign that you are on the right path, okay, because the fault line will form you into the mountain, okay. <sighs> yeah, if you're going through the rebirth, all right. Because there's the womb. You are going through this rebirth. Things will be, I love, because the other side of it is that ten of pentacles. 
like it's creating this future stability with you right now. You and the universe are working on this together. I feel like you're going to see they're really showing me the moon in this center here. I feel like you're really going to see with the full moon this month massive differences on the other side of it. You may even feel a lot of energy with that. Okay, I just heard the ding, 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 ding. All right. You are the prize in all of this, the ring. You are the abundance. You are the harvest. Okay. And the universe wants you to know that. But know that you are not meant to be hoarded, okay, by an emotionally unavailable energy. And do not allow that because that breaks away the best parts of you, okay? So I hope this helps you. I hope you have a beautiful week, and I hope to see you next time, all right? Much love, guys. Bye.